right so i got wrong the other time it's clockwise brown and counterclockwise or anti-clockwise black and then neutral the other one was a diverter so if you get the wires the wrong way around it's moving the wrong direction just swap them over in your wiring center but basically we've got a flow off the system coming in and a flow into the mixer and then we have a flow temperature sensor after the mixer so that's reading what the temperature is for the water and then using the return from the manifold up here and it's circulating in a loop and whenever it draws in some flow it pushes out the return back to the boiler so currently we're on the underfloor heating target flow temperature of 26 actual 24 so the sensor here is sensing 24 but once 26 so now it's moving the motor over to let in more warm water and less cool water and then the flow will heat up and if you wait or I waited this will eventually move up and then when it gets close to the temperature, it'll then feather back down. But this is a radiator system, the second circuit, which is running a higher curve with the underfloor heating. So the boiler is running at the circuit one radiators, target flow temperature of 31 degrees. the boiler is currently at 34 and that's basically it so on this one the priority hot water with these two pots off the valent this is for the radiators so we're flowing through the radiators and then back on the on the return but also on the radiators it tees in to the tail reds on an on-return valve and then that's the tail red T there. So that's the tail radiator flow and this is the flow when it's in weather comp radiators and then when the hot water is doing this is the flow from hot water. So if you follow that back it comes up and that's the hot water so when the hot water is cooling and heating the cylinder you get a hot flow temperature on the tail reds and the tower are just balanced down. And that's that. And then on here, you select your heating circuit, so radiators, and you select your heating curve. I'll put a little picture up of the curve, like on 1.5. And then you've got an outdoor temperature switch off threshold, which I'll lower down to 16 degrees. So whenever it's over 16, it'll turn that circuit off. And that's that two port closed. And the underfloor is still running. So underfloor target flow temperature 26, and the heat generator. 37 and it's off. I'll go now to our door. I'll put that down to 16 as well. And then underfloor heating's on 0.6 and then also minimum 15 but maximum 55. And that's it. So with that off, and then it closes the mixer.
so that will motor to the closed position. You just probably see it moving. doing is moving the shuttle over and closing off the flow so there is no way of heat getting in so the only open port is a return and then as that motor moves the other way it will close a return and let more heat in so that's that and there you go 100% off That's it. And now we're off. 15 degrees outside. So anytime it's over 16, the system's off. No heat demand.